Hey guys, it's James. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding a jQuery lightbox effect to our images. When you click on a thumbnail, it will open up a larger version of the image into a nice picture frame. You can then click through the rest of the images on the page, or you can click the close button or click anywhere on the screen to close the image viewer. Now I've also made a separate tutorial whereby we will make an image gallery with thumbnails and a Polaroid look background. And all of the elements for this gallery, including the thumbnails, the background images and all of the reworked JavaScript hooks are available for a free download at my website, so I'll leave a link in the below bar for you to click on. Okay, now back to today's tutorial. Um, now I got the files for the jQuery Lightbox plugin from leandroviera.com and I'll leave a link in the below bar. You can click on that and go to the website and click on the zip box and you can download the files to your desktop. You'll get a folder called Lightbox and inside of Lightbox you'll have an index file which you won't need. You can click on it to see the effects but you'll need to delete that. There will be a CSS folder and inside the CSS folder will be the basic CSS commands which will make the photo box plugin work. And what you can do is attach that as a separate style sheet onto your web page to make any web page work. Um, now you'll get a folder with the photos in. There's thumbnails and there's also the larger versions of the images. But obviously I'm sure you'll be using your own images for this. You'll need thumbnails and larger versions. There's also um, an image folder for all of the buttons which the close effect, the next and previous buttons. And there's a folder for all of the JavaScript. Okay, now the first file will be your jQuery library file, um, which will be needed for the other JavaScript file to attach to and to interact with. You've also got a jQuery Lightbox full version, a pack version, and a min version, that's your minified version. We're going to delete the pack version and the full version because we won't need them. We're going to use the minified version of the jQuery effect for the Lightbox. So delete the other two, and you should be left with just a jQuery library and jQuery.lightbox min. Now back at the website there's full instructions on how to set this up. It can be a little bit confusing for beginners so I'll take you through setting up some of the hooks but you'll need to set up the JavaScript, the CSS, um, attach the CSS document and link to all of the images with a JavaScript hook. Okay so here's the web page that I've created. I have three thumbnail examples just with a simple border around them, a dash border. And I inserted the thumbnails using the insert image command, which is available at the top menu in Dreamweaver. Okay, now these are the thumbnail versions. I have much larger images, and what I've done is I, I loaded them into Fireworks, then I min made miniature copies, and these are the ones I'm using inside the web page. Now, all we have to do is um, link all of the JavaScript and the attached to CSS document, and then link the smaller images to the larger images. Okay, so if we just have a look inside my files panel, now the file that we've I've created here is called lightbox.html, that's why I named it. Now I've got a CSS folder, now I've got my style sheet, which I've named my style sheet, and I've got the jQuery lightbox downloaded um, CSS file as well, and that's also in that folder. Now my style sheet is attached at the moment, we need to attach the jQuery one. And there's also a folder with images. What I've done is I've put the thumbnails into a separate folder and I've got all of the main images out just inside the roots of that images folder there. Now I've got three thumbnails and three large images. The rest of the images are the buttons which make the jQuery Lightbox plugin work. Uh, I've also got a folder called JS which has got the JavaScript files in as well. So it doesn't really matter where you put all of the files as long as you tell Dreamweaver where they are. So I've just clicked on the first thumbnail image and you'll see that the source image shows up there. Images, thumbs and the name of the JPEG is columns. Okay, now we need to click and drag using the points of file icon to the larger image and that will attach the uh, a link from the thumbnail to the larger image. Okay, so I'm also going to do the same with my other two thumbnails. So I've just clicked on the thumbnail image there. I'm going to click and drag with the points of file icon from the link over to the main image, the main large leaf image. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the last image. I've clicked inside the image, click and use the points of file icon over to the large owl image. And we should have all of our links set up now. So if I preview in a browser, the web page and if I click on an image you'll see that it opens up the image separately into its own 
page. Okay, there we go. It's much larger, obviously, so we know that it's working. Okay, so by now you should be at the same stage that I am at. Okay, now here's the JavaScript folder with the jQuery library and the Lightbox plugin JavaScript. Now what we need to do is just inside the head of the document there where we want to use the effects, we're going to set up the JavaScript hooks. Okay, to set up the hooks, I'm going to type in script type equals. Now as soon as I open the first quotation mark, it will bring up a drop down box. We want to select text slash JavaScript and then put another quotation mark. Now we want to tell it where the source file is for the JavaScript. So src equals and then we're going to go into our JavaScript folder wherever yours might be. Double click on that. And the first hook I'm going to set up is the library. So I'm going to type in or double click on jQuery.js. And then I'm going to close that off with a closing script tag. And we're going to do the same thing for the other JavaScript file now as well. So I'm going to type in script type equals open quotation and then select text slash JavaScript from the drop down box. We'll give it the source file as well and it's in the same folder for mine. So it will be the JavaScript folder JS slash and then I want the jQuery lightbox minified. And I'm going to close the script tag on that as well. So that will be our two JavaScript files set up. Okay, so the next thing we need to do now is we need to put in our, our JavaScript function which will go and find whatever element we ask it to and apply the jQuery lightbox to. So I've made a space for that and if we go back to the um, website now and have a look at some of the hooks that we can set up. Okay, so here's the opening function that we'll need. So it'll be script type equals text and JavaScript. Then there's a function line. So what I'm going to do is copy that first bit of code down and then I will paste that into my web document. Okay, so that's the opening function there. And inside that we need to set up a hook. Okay, now before we do that, I'm going to grab the end of the script function and I'm going to paste that in as well. And then I'll create a nice little space there and uh, we'll put the correct hook that we need um, after analyzing our web page. Now, when we linked our thumbnail images to our larger JPEG images using the points of file icon, it wraps the image in an ahref tag to link it. So what we can do is inside the link, we can give it a class of lightbox and then tell jQuery using a JavaScript to find every image with a class of lightbox and attach the lightbox plugin to it. Okay, so here's the opening ahref tag and the uh, location of that image. Now, just before the close of the angle bracket, we're going to insert the class there. So we're going to type in class equals and then open quotation and we're going to call it lightbox and then we're going to close that with another quotation mark. Okay, so that's the opening href tag and we've given it a class of lightbox. So it's a link with a class. Okay, so I've just clicked on my leaf image and um, I'm going to insert the same class, class equals lightbox, and I'll also do the same for my owl image as well. Okay, so if I draw your attention back to the website and you can see here, uh, here's the function. Basically what that means is grab all of the links with a class of lightbox and attach the lightbox function. So I've just highlighted that and I've copied that and I'm going to paste it into my web page in the function uh, space. Okay, so I've just right clicked and I've pasted that in and that's all we need to do. We do still need to set up our CSS though for the external style sheet that we need to attach.